Eli Moss, the strategy director of Cake. Very welcome to Ljubljana. Very welcome to Slovenia to our sport conference. Firstly, it's our new edition of this conference in 18 years here in Ljubljana. Your first impressions maybe about the conference and maybe about Ljubljana and Slovenia. As I know you are the first time here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, amazing. Um, I haven't seen much of Ljubljana yet, so looking forward to maybe doing a little bit of exploring um, tomorrow with a little bit of time. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, it's been incredible to be here at Sporto. I've really, really enjoyed the morning so far. I'm looking forward to this afternoon's talks as well. I think it's an incredible setting in the stadium. I think it's, been, it's really cool to kind of be in a sporting venue and talking about sport. I think that's a, that's a really nice thing. Um, and yeah, I think it's been a great opportunity to come and share a little bit of what we do at Cake, but also to listen in to all the other experts that you've got here today. Um, some super interesting topics and yeah, really looking forward to the rest of the day. Great. So, uh, Ellie, actually, what was the focus of your lecture today here in Ljubljana? So, my lecture was on um, creating meaningful brands and culture. Um, that's something that we, we do day in, day out at Cake. I guess it's kind of our, our bread and butter. Um, for us, create a meaningful brand is a brand that really connects with people emotionally um, beyond the transaction, so it has a real connection into their lives, into the things that they care about. Um, and culture is really important to us because that's the space we feel that people are most excited, most engaged, most open in. So it provides great opportunities to connect into people at that point if we can engage them around their passion points. Uh, you mentioned that technology sponsors were connected also to the field of sustainability last, mm -hmm. last period, last years. But we also see that sustainability is more and more important also in the sports sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Absolutely. I think um, I was just talking in, in, the, in the speaking just now about how important it is for Gen Z particularly, which is an audience we, we work with a lot. Um, and I think the key thing, the key change that we've seen is activity that used to be um, maybe in a more um, corporate, sponsor, corporate uh, social responsibility space, so more of a, um, more of a a tick box, if you like, um, has now very much shifted to be the centre, the core of campaign activity. So people and audiences really want to hear about this as the, as the core of what you're doing, um, not kind of hidden away in a tab on your website. They, they want to hear about it um, loudly because they want to see changes in those spaces. And uh, the last one, maybe, which part of your job now in Cake is more, let's say, provocative or with more challenges at the moment? working on one side with sport organizations like Major League Basketball, Baseball or Rugby Union on one side or with brands and suppliers like Puma on the other side? Um, I think there's challenges in both. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure I can, I'm sure I can, I can straight pick, but I, I do but think do you enjoy I enjoy, I enjoy, and I think it is a, a challenge, but a really great challenge. And I think we're well placed to deliver on it. Is working with traditional brands who've got an, an aging audience and an older audience who's very established and a fan base, but who need to bring that new generation through to kind of fill that fan portfolio and build a bigger fan base for the future to future-proof the band. So bringing that Gen Z audience to very traditional brands takes a lot of change <laughs> um, and it's maybe sometimes a slow kind of process. I've just been saying it's kind of, and I would advise going step by step, um, but I think that's where we can do some super exciting work and where being a creator in culture is, is really important.